Okay, welcome. Let's play some Catan. Let's see. Oh, we yeah, okay. We are first position. What do I see? I see two things. The 8, 10, 11 looks really solid. We generally, as first position, want to look for ore or wheat. 8, 5, 10 could also be nice, but on the way back, well, it could work because I think the 8-4 or the 8-10 will be open or the 6-3 or the 6-2 will be open. So especially on this kind of boards, you have to look at the coast positions. So I think 8-5-10 is a really great option or the 8-10-11, but then you need to get wheat sheep so this might be open and i'm not sure if it will be open so this position here is the highest producing spot three different numbers good sheep i think and this has the most outs so let's go for this I think a second position you have to take the 8 for 11 or the 8 10 11. You could also do the 5 9 10 if you want to have a road strategy. But it will be hard to connect, I think. And ore and wheat are generally the best resources in the game. Let's see. Okay, good choice. I do think everyone plays it optimally, so no mistakes yet. With a bit of luck, the 249 might be open for me. Then I can build to the 6 ore and I have a very strong position. But I can imagine that it will be taken. A10 could be an option, however I do have the problem of only having three numbers then. Purple won't take the, will take the 3 for 11, I think. Or the A3, if you fail you do weep more, then you are really cornered. You, as a role player you want to have some space to build. And red probably will take the 249 but then you play without the sheep so maybe you want 6312 but then you give me such a strong position i don't think you will ever do that so i definitely need some ore so i have the choice between the 249 and build to the 6 ore i can put it on the 62 with the 3 for 1 port or I can place it on the 8-10. So let's see what is open. I definitely prefer the 2 for 9. But if the 6-2, no, 6-2 will not be taken. As red, you could also place it on the 4-9 and build to the 6-5. That would be a great spot for you. Oh! Yeah, you value the sheep, but hmm, I don't know. 
what you're trying to do there. Okay, let's play some Catan. Welcome everyone. Let's have a look at the board. We are first position again. So I see two spots that are really good. The 649 and the 854 set, sets up for a strong or a cheap game. However, I only can pick one of course. So the second position can pick the other one and will have an advantage over me because he can uh, come first after me so but I still think it's a good position so what will my second position be I see a lot of wood on the board so the wood board could be good interesting and with the 854 I don't see any good settlement support yeah the 810 might be good but I think the 649 here is the best way to go and the 8 wheat might be shared and the 6 wheat not so I will go for the 6 for 9 here and point my board always toward the coast so I can imagine the 8 by 4 will be taken especially on uh, not that many wheat on the board it, well we have a 6 and an 8 but not everyone will get on the wheat so yeah, I agree with this choice. You might get the 6311 or the 6912. So the other players, uh, I think the 8510 obvious, the only good ore spot left. But have to play for the longest road because ore cheap is very difficult. There are no good wheat cheap spots left. Yeah, you have the 810, but it's at the coast. Normally, as uh, the third or fourth position, you want you don't want to place your settlement at the coast, as you have already a less favorable position with your first settlement, and the second settlement will be even worse. So you have to compensate for that with some production. I think as uh, you can take the 3, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11 or the 3, 4, 8, 5, 6, 9. I prefer really want some ore, but I can imagine that the 9, 10, 11 will be taken by red. Oh, okay. So red takes the 6, 3, 11 for sure. And yeah, that, that's an advantage of going uh, first on this board, especially if there are many good spots out there. I will get uh, not a great... second settlement so what do I do here yeah of course you have to look at the coast and then I can take the A10 over here Or I can take the 9-10 and I have the 3 for 1 port. It will be tough though, though to race with red for the last army, but I have no other choice with this setup. And I can't, I can not only, uh, also I can't get any good wood spots to pair with the wood port. So it's a bit problematic for me. I think the 3 for 1 port is the best for me. Also getting a good brick to trade for would be very nice on this high wood port. 
So I will take the 910 here. Okay, welcome to a new Catan game. Let's start. So let's have a look at the board. Okay, we go first position. So I see two good, really good spots. Uh, as first position, I most of the time look for the ore. So 8510 looks really nice. The highest producing spot on the map. We also have the 5910. It's set itself up for a good or we cheat game, which I would prefer. So as first position, you have to look for your outs. So what will be open? So on this board, it's hard to get good wheat. So if you don't take the wheat now, you will probably get it on the turn. So let's see. 5, 9, 10 is also really nice. Then you have the 10 wheat with the sheep board, which is, I think, uncontested. And you have the best ore as well. So I think on this board, I will go for the 5, 9, 10. We have three different numbers. All the resources for ore wheat sheep. And I agree with the second pick, 8, 5, 10. And you will get ore on the way back, most likely. It might be the 9, 10, 11 though, which I don't know if that's the best setup. And someone will place on the 3, 4, 8. So the 8 wheat can be blocked a lot. But it's still a good spot, regardless. So I think as, as for position, I want, I should have, I think I should take the 693 with the 854. And then you can build to the 10 wheat. And you can build to the 3 for 1 port. And maybe you can have road as well. Yes, and I think it's exactly what he's going to do. He doesn't have sheep though, so... I think it will be hard uh, to compete for large army if he can't build quickly enough to the 10 wheat and the 3 for 1 port. So I do think yellow has a great setup. But I will have a great setup too. As red, you could take the 6311 or the 6912 even. But then you play without the ore. Yeah, you don't want to do that. So what do I do here? I can. I could take the 6, 11, 12 to block out the 6, 9, 12 spot because if I, I'm battling for this spot over here. So what do I do here? Um, but I don't gain much by this 12 sheep over here. Also the 411 can be a great spot for me too, combined with the sheep port or raising for this spot, but I think gray, yellow is a very strong position. So maybe this is better. And then I have two more settlement spots, which is nice. I think I will do that. Okay, so welcome everyone. Let's play another game of Catan. So we are first position. So let's see. Okay, two spots come in mind. I think one of them I have to choose. I think the 569 is really, really solid here because I think we will get a 3 for 8 in return. 8510 is a good second pick, I think, but uh, as first position, I'm not sure if you get a good wheat on the way back, but maybe a second position you can have the wheat on the way back. But I think the 569 here is the obvious choice and point towards the 3 for 1 point. Three different resources. 
And yeah, we will get the 9, 10, 11 or the 3 for 8. So I think we are by far in the strongest position just looking at the board. So, good luck everyone. So, I think a second position you take the 8-5-10 or the 8-5-4. But I think the sheep board is not that useful, the tree for all point is useful. So, take the 8-5-10. Because the third and fourth player only can get to this spot over here, which is viable, I think, the 8-4. You could placed on the 9-10 but, but which one would you want to combine? because there are no good wheat sheep spots left yeah the 6 to 11 is not a good wheat sheep spot in my opinion because you only have the 11 sheep so a sec position I will definitely take the 8-5-10 okay so you go for the road strategy but what would you will get in return? I think the 6 to 11 might be open. But I don't see what you want for your second settlement. So that's why I don't like this pick. Because you need some ore and wheat to win the game. So I'm not a huge fan of this spot. And it opens it up. Uh, for red also because now we can take the 8 5 10 and get either the 6 9 3 or the 6 3 11 so because of this placement the third position is in a really good spot now and i think even in a better spot than me because the third position will have more ore and basically have the same wheat as me. Only advantage for me is though that if I can city this up, I will get ore and wheat combined if a six and a nine rolls. But if you city up the eight five, oh, okay. So in my opinion, really, really weird placements by gray and red. Especially red, I think. I think this is an obvious choice to take the 8, 5, 10. So now I think Brown will be basically unstoppable because he will get the 8, 5, 10 and the 6, 9, 3. And it could have great ports also with the ore and wheat because you have double ore and wheat. Yeah, so don't like this at all, that brown is getting so many good spots over. That's definitely not what you want to see. So I think red takes the 6 3 11 probably, because you need the wheat, it's the only good wheat spot. And, well, what I said earlier, what do you want as gray, as second position? Do you take the 3 for 8 over here? That would be... Not that great for me, honestly. Because there's no good ore and wheat. Yeah, you will get you can get the 8-4 over here. Or the 6-2. But I don't see that as a winning strategy. So my, red might run out of time I think because he's also not available right now and it was a red placement so maybe that was the case why he placed here because I think this is the obvious spot to take but unfortunately this will give Brown such a strong advantage yeah you take the 6 to 11 so gray might take the tree for eight, but yeah, don't know about that, what you want to do with it. So hopefully I get this spot, then we are in a strong position as well though, 
we have all the good numbers, five different resources. And it might be better to get to the wood board. Well, I'm not sure. Maybe three for one port is better. We have more flexibility and are not dependent on the eight wood. So if Gray takes this pot, I think I take this pot. Getting some extra wheat, although it's the two wheat. But also getting to this one over here would be really nice. So unfortunately he takes the three for eight. So I have to take this one. This is the highest producing spot. The only three hex available. It's what you basically get in return is first position. And I don't want to race because my first objective will be certainly to get to this tree for one point. So I'll put my road downwards. And this is a good spot to have, but I'm not sure if we can get it. Okay, so welcome everyone. Let's play some Catan. So really interesting board. I do see we have a very low ore board actually. And we do have some good sheep uh, wheat spots over here. So I think the 3A10 is a solid option. I think we have the best ore and we do have a decent sheep too, because only the 693 player over here will get a good sheep. So the 5, 9, 10, 8 for 10 are great spots, but I don't like to settle here because the player after me gets the other one and has position on me because he can take the spot, the next spot earlier than me. So, and I don't see any good spots available. Maybe the 6, 5, 11 or 6, 5, 12, but it's not as a first position spot. The 4, 9, 11, 6, 9, 3. So it might be we have to take a spot at the coast. So I'm not sure, but I do think getting the ore is always a good strategy. I do think we get some wheat. So let's do this just. As first position, you have to look also for a spot that no one other can have. Because you have as first position, your advantage is of course, you do have uh, the ability to place first. So if you place it like this, no one else can get a similar settlement than you. So the 8 for 10 is similar, 5 for 10 is similar, so I don't like that. So hopefully we do get a wheat show, uh, spot, but I'm not sure. I think you will take the 6 3, 11 over the 6 5 11, but you could block me. I see that happening also. So I think the 6 9 3 will be taken. So I don't think anyone will place it on the 4 9 11. Because everyone is already on the wheat. So I think the 4 9 11 might be open. Or the 4 5 11. Because I think as you take the as four player you take the 6 9 3 with the 6 5 12 or <coughs> sorry or either the 6 3 11. I think that's a solid option. As the as these kind of plays, you all need I think maybe some wood and some ore and maybe some sheep as well. So I think the 6311 will be taken. The 6512 might be taken as well. But I don't see anyone place it here. So hopefully we do get this spot. If we can get one of these spots, we are in a really strong position, I think, because we are basically monopolizing the ore. Okay, yeah, so you don't want to get to the and then you take the 693 I think for sure but I do have some more ore and probably will have some more wheat and green too so I think I'm still in a good position Okay, so I don't see red placing it here, but it could be though, because but we, we will get a good reach pot either way. We either get the 6512 or we do get the 4911 or even the 4511. So I'm really glad we take this spot over here for sure. Or 
of course I would preferably having one of these pots because I do like to have some more wheat because if we place it here we don't need this wood over here and the five wheat might be blocked a lot so I do like to place it somewhere here and don't think red will place it here because you already have the brick and the wheat yeah you take the 8-4 so I'm also thinking about place it on the 4-5-11 and build to the 6-5-12 even it would also be really great for me but I'm not sure because the wood maybe pink wants to raise me for this spot over here and I think he can outpace me because he does have a, a lot more wood and brick than me so let's see I think this spot will definitely be open so I think I will do that I think I could also place it here because then green can block me that good it's also a really strong option um, let's see so we need also a good settlement spot I think this is a good settlement yeah let's not over predict and just place it here I do give pink a lot 